There was three remakes that came out over Valentine's Day weekend. Good job, Hollywood. So the third remake that I saw over Valentine's Day weekend was Endless Love, and it stars Alex Pettifer, Gabriella Wilde, and Bruce Greenwood. And it's a cliche movie about a young boy and a young girl that fall in love over summer and she has to go off to college and they just fall so madly in love and they don't know what to do uh, just spend the last few weeks of summer left and see where things go and they fall madly in love and they just can't handle uh, her leaving in first school and in the kind of beginning I kind of got like this dirty dancing vibe of you know this guy that works at a resort and this young girl um, who's innocent comes and he changes her and everything kind of that dirty dancing vibe there from the trailers I was kind of iffy on seeing this movie it looked nice it was like you know innocent love story of changing this girl and everything so I kind of like love stories uh, some of them were hit or miss so I was like yeah I'll give it a shot um, this movie is very cliche very predictable and it has a very very cheesy love story that has been done many 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 times before uh, so this has also has very 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 rough acting bad acting you know from a girl I never seen before uh, Alex Pettifer I've seen him in things before but there wasn't very good acting here at all so cliche uh, love story um, bad acting predictable movie um, just a typical love story but for some reason, I actually really enjoyed it. I don't know, there was something about these characters, even though that they were bad characters, uh, that I really did enjoy. They were sweet together, they worked well. Uh, it was nice to watch this young couple fall in love. I don't know, it's kind of like a... I think it's like my first guilty pleasure of 2014. I know that it was shit upon, it, bad reviews, everything, but for some reason I was just interested in watching the movie. Uh, right off the bat I was um, drawn into the characters and the story. Um, even though I've already seen this kind of story before, I was just interested in it. And I knew what was going to happen at the end, but I was waiting for it to come out the end and just like, oh, I hope that they do fall in love. Even though that they, they're going to, I just was wondering how they're going to pan it out and everything. I was just wanting it to come out to the end because I just wanted them to be happy because, you know, these love stories have this structure of meet, fall in love, hate each other, fall back in love, and at the moment where they hate each other, I'm just like, I want them to fall in love again. These characters make me feel for them. And I think it's just a guilty pleasure movie because I know it's, it's, it's that cliche, predictable, cheesy love story with bad acting, but for some reason, I just really did enjoy it. I don't know, uh, did anybody else enjoy it? I know it has a really low percentage on Rotten Tomatoes, but for some reason, I just walked out and go, wow. I actually did enjoy this movie. So I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Endless Love a B-. Uh, even though it has those cliche, cheesy love moments, been there, done that characters, everything was seen before, I actually did enjoy it. So this is Just Watch the Movies with his review for Endless Love. It came out over Valentine's Day weekend. I'm sure that if you had a boyfriend or girlfriend, you guys went and saw it. So comment down below and tell me what you thought about Endless Love. Do you guys like it, hate it, whatever? Comment down below. I want to know. Hope you had a great Valentine's Day, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.